I was actually raised by a single mother, so I'm, I'm very familiar with my mom's story. And she originally moved to San Francisco in the 80s when she was in her mid-20s. Um, and eventually she moved down to L.A. Um, and for her, she worked lots of hours, two or three jobs at a time. Um, she, growing up, I would never really see her at home. I would be taking care of my other aunts and uncles. I think that for her, the biggest struggle was coming, coming alone. She was the first in our family to come to the United States and she kind of set the groundwork for everybody else. So we've had several uncles, aunts, cousins come to the U.S., um, live here, establish themselves, have families. Um, so in terms of you know her regretting anything, I think um, she would have preferred it to be a little bit easier in terms of just her daily life and being able to pursue things that she was interested in. But uh, at the end of the day, I think she looks back and is very proud of the fact that she is her own Ellis Island in a sense that everybody has come through her door, her apartment um, while establishing themselves in the U.S. and that would not have happened had she not come here and I think she's really proud of that and um, that's something that I'm really proud about her for. Um, my life would have been completely different. Um, I mean I live in New York City, I went to college, I'm in graduate school right now um, and my mom didn't finish elementary school. So that kind of hurdle, that kind of leap in quality of life and education would never have happened had she come here and I don't think she regrets any aspect of that.